Hi, Central Crossing and the class of 2024. My name is Mrs. Fairs, and I am the school counselor here at Central Crossing for the last names A through D. Joining me today will be Mrs. Rendell, another school counselor. She has the last names E through LE. Today, you are going to begin part one of the scheduling process, where you learn a little more about the classes available to you for next school year. Next week in English class, I will be visiting you for part two of scheduling. This is where I will help you actually enter in these course requests in Infinite Campus. So please use this time today to begin working on your course selections, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Graduation requirements for students in the class of 2023 and beyond are as follows. Course credit requirements. All students are required to obtain 21 total credits. Demonstration of competency. Students must earn a passing score on the Ohio's Algebra 1 and English 2 end of course test. Demonstration of readiness. Students will need to earn two of the Ohio Readiness Diploma seals. I will now review with you the specific 21 credits that you need for graduation. You need four credits of English, four credits of math, including Algebra 2. You need three credits of science, a physical science, a biological science, and then one advanced science. You need three credits of social studies, including modern world history, American history, government, which is typically a half a credit, and then a social studies elective to complete your three credits. You need a half a credit of health, a half a credit of physical education, or you can earn two PE waivers within the same activity type. Specifically, this is if you did two years of band, two years of naval science, or completed two full seasons of a sport. You need one credit of a fine art, and then five credits of electives or you need five and a half credits of electives if you are using the PE waiver. These electives can be anything I did not specify above or any overflow in any of the categories. For example, foreign language, career tech, family consumer science courses, or let's say you did band all four years, that first year of band would be a fine art. Your other three band credits would be overflow and count as elective credits. All of this will equal your 21 credits for graduation. Students can be enrolled in College Credit Plus, also known as CCP, in a variety of ways. One way is through dual enrollment. These courses are taken in your home high school in a traditional classroom setting. A second way is by taking classes on a college campus or online. A third way is through our Accelerated Learning Center, which is located here at Central Crossing High School. There are upcoming College Credit Plus virtual question and answer meetings that you may attend with your family to learn more about the College Credit Plus process and to have your questions answered. Those sessions can be found on our school website at cchs.swcsd.us or on this slide. There are important upcoming College Credit Plus dates. February 22nd is the deadline to complete the interest survey, which you can find on the CCH website or in your cohort Google Classroom. April 1st is the deadline for your intent to participate form. And April 16th is the deadline for the Accelerated Learning Center if you want to apply for that special program. You can find additional steps and dates on the school website at cchs.swcsd.us slash college credit plus. Now let's look at the sophomore year course option sheet. Please take a moment to fill out the top right corner of the sheet with your name and other information. While you are doing that, I'm going to point out some specific information that is on the sheet that's important for you to know. February 19th is the last day that you are able to go into Infinite Campus and make selection requests. There are some courses on here that are offered zero period, meaning that they start at 7.05 a.m. and you must have your own transportation. 
there are some courses that require special permissions. There are other notations on this sheet that will give you important information, things like whether it is a dual enrollment course, aka a college credit plus class, or if it could be a course that could lead to a graduation seal. I want you to think about the courses before uh, your scheduling day when I come in next week. Okay. I want you to know exactly what courses you are going to take in order to fill your eight period day. The biggest mistake students make is they do not do that and therefore their school counselor is going to select courses for you and you might not like them and so there is limited availability to change after that. So we want you to fill out your course requests now. Please know that lunch will be assigned to everyone, so you don't need to worry about that, which will take up one space in your eight-period day. And also know that you are not eligible for lockout as a sophomore. So let's look at the back of your sheet. It will say, plan your schedule. Okay, so these are in no particular order. They are spaces to help you identify what courses to take. You will notice on here that each course has a four letter or four number code attached to it. We want you to write that four letter code as well as the course name on each line. So as I go through my, my schedule here, I'm going to put 0721 English 2 for my English class. Next, I'm going to pick my math class and it will be geometry and that course code is 1032. Looking at science, most sophomores are taking biology and that course is 1221. As a sophomore, the social studies is typically American history with a course number 1334. You do not need to worry about adding lunch on your schedule because that will be automatically added for you. As a sophomore, we would like you to take health one of the graduation requirements, and that course code is 0431. So when I come in to help you schedule, you will enter that course in as well. You will notice that that is a semester, so you will need to choose either a half a credit course, or if you still need to take a PE course to finish that off for graduation, you may add that here. I am going to select to take PE2. For my seventh space, I could either put one year long course or two semester courses. I'm going to select to continue taking foreign language and I'm therefore going to take Spanish too. In my eighth space, I am going to either put in one year long course or two semester courses. Something that you can think about is if you might need a study hall and this would be a good place to, to put that. Um, I am selecting to take intro to technology and networking security as it is one of the options that might lead to a technology seal uh, for one of the diploma seals. I am then going to select Go Global Gourmet, one of the new classes for family consumer science, because I have met the prerequisite by taking principles of foods this year. So we want to make sure that you complete your eight period day, again, in no particular order. Then we want you to come down to this alternative electives section. So if for some reason my spaces six, seven, and eight do not fit for whatever reason, uh, we want you to give your school counselor other options that they can select for you. Again, if you do not do this and something does not fit, your school counselor will make a decision for you. Here, I have opted to take professional and technical sales, which is a year long class, or I have given my school counselor the option of giving me speech or even a study hall, knowing that I wanted it first semester since I play a fall sport. That is a sample schedule. Let's take a moment to review important scheduling dates. Friday, February 19th is the last day to request courses in Infinite Campus. After that time, you will no longer have access in Infinite Campus to 
request courses. Teachers will then go in and add their recommendations. If you do not select classes in Infinite Campus or fill your eight period day, please remember your school counselor will then choose for you and there will be limited access to changes. Before the end of the year, you will receive a course verification form that will list the courses that are scheduled for you. At that time, you will have one last chance to make changes to those requests. And now for your school counselors. I am Mrs. Fairs. I have the students' last names A through D. Mrs. Rendell has the students' last names E through LE. Mrs. Russell has the students' last names LI through RI. Mrs. Shu has the last names RO through Z.